Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass today. For world peace, especially between Russia and the Ukraine, for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for the intentions of Carmel and the Redemptorists, for our families, friends, and benefactors, and those recommended to our prayers, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. Uh, Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here, so as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah. They said, Come, let us make plots against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, let us strike him with the tongue, and let us not heed any of his words. Give heed to me, O Lord, and listen to my plea. Is evil a recompense for good? Yet they have dug a pit for my life. Remember how I stood before you to speak good for them, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. Release me from the snare they have hidden. For you indeed are my refuge. Into your hands I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save you, O Lord, your your merciful love. I have heard the slander of the crowd, terror all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My lot is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. Save me, O Lord, in your merciful love. 
Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. He who follows me will have the light of life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him to the Gentiles to be mocked, and scourged, and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. <clears throat> then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Command that these two sons of mine may sit, one at your right and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the chalice that I am to drink? And they said to him, We are able. He said to them, you will drink my chalice, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to give. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers, but Jesus called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came, not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus. Uh, last night I was watching the news, and in the course of the news, a young woman from Ukraine who is living in an underground shelter in Kiev uh, was interviewed, and uh, she was describing the horrors of living during a war. And she said something that uh, struck me very vividly. The only thing that keeps me, keeps, me going from going, keeps me from going mad is serving others. That's why I stayed in Kiev, and that's what keeps me sane, serving others. It was like the page from the Gospel made flesh. Because this is what Jesus is saying. This is the kind of world that Jesus envisages. A world where we serve one another. This is a completely new horizon, even still. 
And it's a horizon that Jesus not only taught, preached, but modeled by the way he lived and by the way he died. He came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The logical outcome of wanting to be served is what we see in the Ukraine with the domination of one country over another. The desire to dominate, to subjugate, to command, to control, to exploit others ends in war, leads to war. St. James already noticed this in his letter. Why all this fighting among you and why all these wars? It is because we are not serving one another. We are trying to dominate one another. And in this world, we, as a religious community, as a community of faith, are called to model this service, to be at the disposal of one another and the disposal of those in need. Lent is a time for service, a time to give. This is what we are offered today. Are we able to drink this cup? Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, undo the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, 
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. The Novena to Saint Joseph, most blessed Saint Joseph, master of the hidden life and man of prayer, teach us to love God's will and to value the things of eternity, to live as you have lived, a life of prayer. Obtain for us great purity of heart, fervent love, the interior life. Comes to your service that you may ever be our protector and guide in the way of salvation. Direct us in the path of life and assist us with Mary and the angels at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>